My planet Arrakis is so beautiful when the sun is low. Rolling over the sands, you can see spice in the air. The outsiders ravage our lands in front of our eyes. Their cruelty to my people is all I've known. What's to become of our world? A. V. N. It's headphones steel! What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Headphones Neil Reviews. In this case it's going to be the recently released film via HBO Max and in theaters for Denis Villeneuve's Dune. So this review is going to have spoilers so just a quick heads up there. Um, mostly because it did release on October 21st via HBO Max so I had a chance to watch it and of course I have thoughts just because I'm a fan of the books, the uh, franchise. The original movie with um, Patrick Stewart and all those people was okay, but that's a that's very much a product of its time. So I figured I would um, review this movie. It's gonna partially be hard to review just because it's part one of potentially a two-part film, um, but I will review it just based on what we saw in this film. So with that, let's jump right into it. So overall, the first thing you're going to notice when you are watching the movie is the vast grandness of the film that you get right off the bat. So all of the scenes have very um, grand sweeping panoramic style or panoramic panoramic level views. So overall, a very good presentation there even though most of the film does take place on the planet Arrakis. Um, they do have bits and pieces on other planets like the Atreides homeworld Kaladin I want to say. They do um, have things as far or other areas as far as the Harkonnen go. The um, the Baron guy played by Stell and Skarsgård and all of that. So all in all the visuals of the film are very well done and the one thing that I definitely give them props for are the body shields that everyone employs so a definite improvement over the the body shields that they had that they you had in the old original Dune, Dune movie with uh, Patrick Stewart um, from there the um, next thing that you will that I liked was the acting of, of course, um, Jason Momoa steals his, steals his scenes, but it's hard to also, or basically it's hard, but you also have to get his, um, performance of Aquaman out of the, out of your, um, out of your mind, but all in all good performance there, especially with the foretelling that they have in the beginning of the film. Um, and then, of course, Josh Brolin, as far as the warrior trainer with um, Paul, was well done. Um, and then another thing, too, is get some of the quotes that you might remember from the first film out of your mind, like the whole thing about not being in the mood for fighting and mood is for lovemaking and all of that, which on its own was a funny scene. But they presented well in this 2021 iteration of the film. I like the whole scene with the uh, fear is a mind killer and Paul putting his hand in the box and all of that. And ultimately the film ends with Paul and his mom, mom um, meeting up with the Fremen and going on, on that front. And then the Harkonnen and um, the Baron guy thinking that all of the house, all of house entreaties is now dead. So Overall, the two and a half hours was well spent and well worth it. If anything, they probably could have cut it down by um, maybe 15 minutes or potentially. I, I mean, I want to say about 15 minutes if they didn't have so many sweeping, lingering shots all over the place, which those shots kind of made it for a long movie, but 
the rest of the film was worth it, I guess. So it's you kind of. So for me, that's kind of the only area where I would probably take away points because it felt longer than it needed to be just because of that. But when you do have the scenes, especially with Oscar Isaac as Paul's dad, those scenes were very well done. Um, the slow re revelation that Paul is the product of years and years of the Bene Gesserit, um, which is ladies or group or whatever trying to find the per or trying to create the perfect being was well done the introduction of the still, still suits um the training or the paul learning about how to avoid the worms you have to walk in the way the fremen walk which i was kind of hoping you have to if you want if you don't want to attract the worms you have to walk uh without rhythm or something like that so um all in all, this version of the film felt less silly just because the acting combined with better um, lines and better visuals made the film more entertaining to watch. And I was hoping that they would have already greenlit the uh, greenlit part two, but they're actually waiting to see how um, this. Um, film is will is received before they greenlit part green light part two i guess which was kind of a bummer because i would have wanted at least a probably even drum up um um support to watch the film is that they would have greenlit both films and have and start production after the numbers for this film come in and they hear good or bad things um so if I was to recommend the film, I do recommend watching it, but it does require knowing some of the backstory for Dune, so the characters, the planets, and all of that stuff. Um, so having read the novel is ideal, but I guess as far as a summary goes, I mean, I don't. I, at the risk of not of recommending the original film, the original film provides a good review of the names and interactions and some of the planets and houses and stuff like that but this film on its own um i guess i mean for me it feels a long or it has the potential to have the scope for um being star wars meets lord of the rings because as far as the planets go it feels very lord uh, feels very star wars with Arrakis being the Tatooine planet, um, Ka Kaladin, the Atreides homeworld, feels a lot like um, Alderaan. The you have an emperor, the Padishah emperor. Um, you have the Harkonnen homeworld, which is kind of like um, I kind of want to say it's a, kind of like a Korriban or maybe a Sith world, just because they're supposed they're set up to be the bad guys or villainous house of the. Um, of the Dune universe, um, and then it has a very Lord of the Rings setup to it because you have all these various locations that, rather than being on all, are all being on one planet, are set up to be all over the place, uh, like on different planets. All the houses, like houses, have their own planets rather than their own continents. So rather than you know, Middle Earth, the Two Towers, Minas Tirith, the Elves. Um, hometowns, or well, I forget what they're called offhand, so forgive me for that. Um, so rather than that, you have you know the Emperor, pa the Padishah Emperor's home planet, the Treaty's home planet, and Harkonnen, and all of that. So the scope of it is very large. So I'm I am kind of hoping that based on or that this film is well received to the point where they're able to build or they're able to finish the first book in part two of the film and then from there continue to um make films based on the rest of the books uh, potentially one book for one film per book just to track down the or to follow the path of um paul the rise of um him in the fremen and then with his sister i forget what his sister's name is but um, basically everything that happens throughout the books for Dune. So as far as my rating grade for the film goes, I give it a definite grade of an A and I actually do want to rewatch it. Um, I do recommend watching it on um, at least a big screen TV or a theater, whatever you're, or on a theater screen, 
whichever you're comfortable with but definitely on a bigger screen it's okay watching it on a you know mobile device or um, a tablet after you've seen it at least once on a bigger screen just so you get the grandioseness of it and when they're doing you know the overarching shots with the desert um the, the town on arrakis the the ships rising out from the water on kaladin and all of that does require a bigger screen so you get a uh, scope for the grandioseness of it all so that's all there is for this particular review so if you have any questions comments feedback or anything like that you can find me on twitter at patel n01 the website is headphonesneal.reviews for past episodes subscription links supporting the show and all of that good stuff but that is all for this particular review thanks for tuning in and until next time